Okay, I'm with Lane on my left and Nelson on my right. Of course, we knew all the signature handshake by Marcus here. How's it going, guys? You're right. How are you? There you go. All right. So, okay. Best lighting we have so far in the Pre-Times Cafe is in the kitchen. That's what our background is. <laughs> and um, I was about to interview Judy, and I got pulled away by your music, not knowing it was you guys. And I went to hear you guys play these two beautiful guys playing this powerful acoustic guitar with solid rhythm that just moved me. And uh, with your kind of music, in my opinion, you don't need lyrics. You're like a whole complete band, uh, you know, with a repertoire rich in vibrations that just, they motivate you and they inspire you. How long, you, I got a lot of questions, let's start with like, what kind of music is that? How long have you guys been together and to compose that and what, where did you come from to creatively get those ideas to compose that? Ah, uh, as far as influence, let's start here. <laughs> we came, we come from Sask Saskatchewan. Uh, How long ago? I moved out here two years ago. Nelson moved out here about a year and a half ago. Yeah. And uh, so we've been, we've been, we started playing when we were about 16 years old, and we've been playing for five, five or six years now. And uh, the music, I guess, come from, to me, a lot of it was growing up in the prairies and, and being influenced to, to a lot of bands that you were really uh, not close to, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, from, from, uh, so it was, it was kind of just making your own, our own music from, from a very small place that, that we, we thought was really big and deserved to be in a, a bigger place, in a bigger market. And uh, and really, it came pretty easy for us. We had a good connection, and it was uh, just started jamming collective influences of a lot of the same bands. Bands uh, like Chili Peppers, uh, Tool, Tool, Rage Against the Machine, Queens of Stone Age, John Butler Trio, and. Uh, also a lot of instrumental music. Yeah. Anything unique really that stands out as far as musically that's different? Something that's not in the, the popular realm, I guess. Yeah. Something that's not boring. <laughs> or that could be as well. It could but be, it could. Yeah. Did it just happen that you ended up with any lyrics on, this, on these songs? Or did you have lyrics when you were with other people before? Or what? We did. But our music was different. It was it was heavier and it was electric guitar and 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 not that it wasn't good, but I wanted to do the acoustic thing and, and as well as hopefully the electric thing in the future. But when when it came time to do the to do this, we we've tried old singers and we've had singers, but it just hasn't. Nothing's really clicked. Yet. Clicked. So we just been writing the music has been the most important thing besides words or anything so we try to make that as as, as good and as powerful as it, it could be without any words so that hopefully you don't people don't even think that you need them you know the music is good on its own and it's, you know it stands up on its own without words and if we find someone that fits in the event that we do find someone or in the event that we eventually start singing ourselves it'll it'll just come naturally Kind of, yeah. we want it to come naturally. We want it to feel really good, and when it happens, it happens, I guess. Yeah. So, how long you guys been together that you were able to stay together? Well, I guess we 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 were we grew up in a town where most kids were all the same, and we were just a little bit different. You know, we were into rock and roll and growing our hair and and. Uh, <laughs> and and yeah, playing guitar, which is not, it was, it was uncommon. Completely from, different from everyone. So just being into that and being the only two guys in town into that, it just came naturally that we'd start jamming and that I would play guitar, and Nelson would play bass. And it wasn't even about learning cover songs, it was just about let's get together and jam. <laughs> you, know? you guys have a website we can yeah. follow? W, uh, we're on MySpace. That's www.myspace.com slash the living art. That's the L I V I N R T A R T. I see. And we're also on Facebook. Great. So when's your next gig? Our uh, next gig is in our house. <laughs> <laughs> and that address is what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
uh, should should our next gig should be in the middle of the month. Not not planned, not confirmed yet, but it should be at the supermarket in the middle of January. Downtown Toronto and uh, downtown college. Toronto College and Augusta. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, and you're working. On, I hear you're working on your CD. Yeah, we have we recorded an album uh, that we released in June, and uh, and we're working on the second one. Currently, currently working on the second one that should um, be released by even May. As soon as we April can get or May, so as soon as we can get her done, so yeah. that should be two albums in a year, which is Great. pretty good. So. Well, I'm personally looking forward to seeing your next gig. I really enjoyed your music and wish you much success. And uh, welcome to Toronto, a long stay, maybe a short stay, to get out of here, come back and start. <laughs> Thank you. Do the tour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.